So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add scroll text. So you'd notice just something like Python, if we've got a large block of text, then the scroll bar appears on the right side so we can scroll up and down inside the window. So how do we do that in Tikinta? Well, first of all, we actually need to import a new library from Tikinta. So I'm going to do from Tikinta, import scrolled text, just like so. And then we're going to create a brand new widget. So we need a name for our widget. So I'm going to call it scroll text equals scrolled text dot scrolled text, just because we have to get it from inside that library. And then we're going to attach it to our master. And then we're also going to do something called wrap. And this just means that if there's too much text, instead of it going all the way along to the right, it will just do it on the new line. So next we can actually pack it, so it's going to appear. And then finally we're just going to actually add some text so we can actually see the scroll in effect. So dot insert. And the first argument is what we want to do with the text. We want to insert it. There are other ones that we can do for arguments, such as overwriting what text is currently in there completely. But we're just going to add to it. So we're going to do hello slash n. I'm just going to add a load of new lines. We'll do one more. And then we're also going to copy and paste this. This is just so we've got enough text in our window where we can actually see the effect of the scroll bar. So once you've got all that in place, we can run it. Might take a second to run. There we go. And we've got our scroll bar here. What's really nice is if we make our window bigger, you see the scroll bar goes with it as well. And again, if we go smaller, we can actually still scroll through and see all of our text. So depending on how big you want your window to be, it's very, very useful. So the other thing we might want to do is actually make it. So if I just run it once more, sorry. Currently we can edit text. So this is something like a Python text editor, say, or a notebook. We can edit whatever text is in there. But if you're doing something like a messenger app, you don't want to be able to get rid of old comments. How can we fix that? Well, we can actually use uh, a state to sort of disable what the scroll text can do. So scroll text.config and we can change the state of it to be disabled. This doesn't mean we can't use it. This just means that we can't type in it, which means that only the program can actually add anything to it which is useful for text sort of chats or if you're doing like an RPG game you want sort of messages to come through to the player so now you'll notice that I can't even click on that part of the program it won't let me edit anything but I can still scroll I can still see the messages so if you're doing something that you don't want the user to edit and you want to display the messages that keep rolling maybe update then you can add just this line of code to the bottom to fix that